Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 player review on my channel, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 81 rated foot birthday Gabriel Agbombahor, so the reason I decided to review this card was because, if you don't know already, I am an Aston Villa fan, and I just saw this card, it looked honestly insane, and I remember, and I think it was FIFA 13, when he actually had this card, what this card was based around, it was honestly one of my favourite strikers on the game, and just like on FIFA 13, this guy is one of my favourite strikers on FIFA 17 so getting into the reasons why he has good pace amazing dribbling amazing strength and amazing shooting so looking at his face card stat you wouldn't really think he has that good finishing but oh my god this guy is honestly an insane player one of the best strikers I've used this year and I know you're probably thinking I'm being a bit biased just because I'm a Villa fan and I probably am to be honest but this guy is honestly he just seems to suit my style of play it feels like you're playing on old gen though he can just easily run past defenders and finish it off and I think this guy's goal to game ratio was something mad it was I think it was around five or six games and he scored 14 or 15 goals so basically scored three goals every single match and again just showing off his dribbling pace and strength here and he's just to run past all the defenders here with his pace runs past another one runs past another one and another one the angle gets a little bit tight here decide to cut back then do a really nice skill move here past the defender and then smash it past the goalie and that is Jack Butland in goal there one of the most overpowered goalkeepers this year and he didn't even try and save it so yeah, Gabriel Agbombahor, hands down, is one of the best strikers on the game. And if you don't believe me, go and try him out for yourself. Um, I think it's around 50,000 coins on both consoles, and his price range is 9,900 to 150,000 coins. So yeah, he's definitely worth the coins. The only hard thing, um, well, not really a con, um, but um, he's pretty hard to link up. So I had to actually use him in a championship squad, but you could maybe put him into an English team. That would probably be the best thing to do. And again, there, he has some really weird way of striking the ball. He sort of just keeps his ankle completely straight. It's straight sort of like a knuckleball technique. Um, yeah, and there we go. He does have a three-star weak foot, but to be honest, it does feel like a four or five-star weak foot. So I didn't really put that down as one of the cons. And the only con I could find on this card was his three-star skill moves. Um, so, you know, we can't perform any four-star skill moves like burp, toss, spin, or spin. But if this guy had four-star skill moves, he would literally just be the best striker on the game. The only reason he's probably my, like, third or second is because he doesn't have the four-star skill moves. So, again, as you can see, just blistering pace down the line, cuts back inside, runs through a few more players, and then look at that finish, a nice finesse shot into the top corner of the net. So, anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.